Okay, today I'm going to show you an important evidence that do exist since October 2nd, 2001, which is a proof of chemtrails being a fact, not a conspiracy theory. But before I do that, I would like to introduce a wonderful man to you who created this evidence, Alfred Weber, an American author, lawyer, peace activist, and a judge on the Kuala Lumpur War Crimes Commission. He is the co-architect of the Space Preservation Treaty and the Space Preservation Act that was introduced to the U.S. Congress by Congressman Dennis Kucinich and is endorsed by more than 270 NGOs worldwide. This is his wiki page and his official website address is exploitix.blogs.com slash exploitix. On this page, look for the U.S. Space Shuttle and click on the link to take you to the page that we need to go. This page provides you with a link to the YouTube video where Alfred Weber explains the HR 2977 bill and independent scientist Lauren Moret states that he, the uh, covert mission of the U.S. Space Shuttle from 1981 to 2011 was to distribute chemtrails in space as part of the HARP weapon system. So now let's go directly to the bill 2977 itself. This is the Library Congress website and on this page click on the bills resolutions link. Then Browse bills and resolution, and then 107 link, and then bill number link, scroll down and click on the 2901-3000 link. On the page that opens, search for 2977. On this page, notice that we need the first link that are search highlights for us. So click on this link. So there you have the evidence. HR 2977 bill where chemtrails have been mentioned. Scroll down and see the word chemtrails at the end of the document where it reads Such terms include exotic weapons, such as electronic, psychotronic, or information weapons, chemtrails. That's it. So that's mentioned in a bill in the Congress of the United States. So don't stop seeing chemtrails. I mean, don't be afraid of seeing chemtrails. That's a fact. It's not a conspiracy theory.